I know I'm not big, but you still can. <laughs> okay. Are you staying? Yeah, I'm staying. Okay. Okay. <laughs> has held off here as we get a chance to uh, welcome you to our Eastern Vigil 2022 and to welcome everybody on Zoom who's joining us as well after 40 days of Lent and the Holy Week spent uh, walking down that harrowing path to Calvary and the grave. We are now ready to witness a new a miracle. Uh, we begin in a few moments. We will be outside and we will be approaching uh, dusk, I guess, as you call it. Yes. Pretty much here. Yeah. Uh, and we'll be in the Memorial Garden, which is just a great place to be because that's where all our saints are. And so we'll be starting there. Hopefully, the wind uh, and Jeanette, the wind will give us a great night. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Without wind. So, anyway, uh, we're going to start off our ceremony with the lighting of the new fire uh, in the Memorial Garden. We're going to then light the Easter candle. We're going to pray over and dedicate the 2022 Easter candle. And we're going to process it through the church, where little by little we'll light our own candles. Um, then, still in the dark church, we're going to hear a series of the Old Testament lessons about the mighty acts of God. We're going to hear the story of creation told in a group of the Ryan Scripture uh, right here to tell that story of creation in a very, shall we say, unique way. So, uh, we're going to hear that. We're going to hear the choir. Uh, we're going to hear um, a song by our gospel band as well. And then we'll hear the account uh, yeah, of the Hebrews and liberation from the Egyptian slavery. Then we're going to remember our baptisms. That's a pinnacle uh, part of the ceremony tonight as we go through our baptismal covenant. We'll be straight to the water to remember that life changing event of our watch, uh, of, of our new nature in Christ. And then we're going to welcome Easter. We're going to dig up that A word that we haven't said in quite a long time. And as our service, then we'll go from darkness to the light. The lights of the church will come up. The altar, of course, to deck with Bethel uh, Raymond and Lilies uh, revealed in all their glory. The organ, uh, the piano, we're going to come to life and we sing and we ring bells and we announce the resurrection of Jesus Christ, uh, the greatest miracle of the world. Uh, and then we're going to read our, our gospel, our Easter gospel, and joyfully celebrate the first Eucharist of Easter. Eucharist, we're going to do like we did uh, on Monday, those who weren't here, 
we will have an opportunity for you to drink out of a common cup or have your wine, uh, have your friend drink your wine, or just have breakfast. So that will all be uh, something we'll offer tonight. This, of course, is the night of the Christian year. Uh, and I don't know about you, but I just need Easter. I need a new beginning. I need to be reminded of who God is in my life. And so I simply invite you to just relax and take it in. Um, there are parts that always go great. There are always parts that go less than great. And since we are a Christian community, to love one another, care for one another, uh, I'm looking forward to doing this with you. So without further ado, let us make our way out to the world. Thank you. Right. On the, um, on the bell table, there's a couple more.
different to Christ on this most holy night, which our Lord Jesus Christ passed over his death and life. The church invites to remember his first struggle, the gathering of the Jews of the For this we will pass over the Lord's word and celebrate the sacrifice. Come in, both writers in the past. Let us go. Oh God, through your son, you have bestowed upon your people the brightness of your lights. Sanctify this fire and grant that in this past we may so burn with heavenly desires that with pure minds we may attain the festival of everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Christ yesterday and today, giving and in. The Alpha and the Omega. His are the times and the ages. To him be glory and dominion for all ages of eternity. Amen. Through his holy and glorious may Christ the Lord. Guard and preserve each one of us. May the light of Christ gloriously rise and dispel the darkness of our hearts and our minds. Amen. We now process the sun. Lord is my life. 
light, thy light and salvation. In God I trust, in God I trust. The light of Christ, thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Rejoice, thou heavenly host and choirs of angels, and let your trumpets shout salvation for the victory of our mighty King. Rejoice and sing now all round the earth, bright with a glorious splendor, for darkness has been vanquished by our eternal King. Rejoice and be glad now, Mother Church, and let your courts, let your holy courts in radiant light resound with the praises of your people. All you who stand near this marvelous and holy flame, pray with me to God the Almighty for the grace to sing the worthy praise of this great light. Through Jesus Christ, his Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with him in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also, and also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, right to give our thanks and grace. It is truly right and good, always and everywhere, with our whole heart and mind and voice to praise you, the invisible, almighty, and eternal God, and your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. For he is the true Paschal Lamb, who at the feast of the Passover paid for us the debt of Adam's sin, and by his blood delivered your faithful people. This is the night when you brought our fathers, the children of Israel, out of bondage in Egypt and led them through the Red Sea on dry land. This is the night when all who believe in Christ are delivered from the gloom of sin and are restored to grace and holiness of life. This is the night when Christ broke the bonds of death and hell and rose victorious from the grave. 
how wonderful and beyond our knowing, oh God, is your mercy and loving kindness to us, that to redeem a slave, you gave a son. How holy is this night when wickedness is put to flight and sin is washed away. It restores innocence to the fallen and joy to those who mourn. It casts out pride and hatred and brings peace and concord. How blessed is this night when earth and heaven are joined and man is reconciled to God. Holy Father, accept our evening sacrifice, <coughs> the offering of this candle in your honor. May it shine continually to drive away all darkness. May Christ, the morning star, who knows no setting, find it ever burning. <coughs> he who gives his light to all the creation and who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, you may extinguish your candles at this time and let us hear the record of God's saving deeds in history, how he saved his people in ages past, and let us pray that our God will bring each of us to the fullness of our redemption. In the beginning, in the beginning, there was God. And there were a bunch of floating rocks, and there was water. And after they were just floating around and stayed that way forever. You know, no, wait, okay. I've got an idea. I'm gonna make something out of this. Out of rocks and water? Yes. So first, I'm gonna take these rocks, right? Okay. I'm going to take every single rock, I'm going to combine them into one big rock. Then I will call that rock the dirt. And then from that rock, there will be other rocks. And these rocks will be mountains. Some rocks will be cliffs. Some rocks will be riverbeds. What's a so river? on, not important. So on and so forth. So now we have a big rock with a bunch of little rocks on it. All so, right. And so oh, the next thing rocks. that we must have is water from the maelstrom, the dawn of creation. So we take this water, we split it in two, two parts, right? First. There's the water in the air, I will call that the sky. Second is the water on the earth, and I will call that the sea. And then from that, there will be many little waters. There will be rivers or the riverbeds. There will be lakes, there will be ponds, brooks and streams, so on and so forth. And so what are you going to do with all that? A bunch of water, rocks all bunched together. Well, I mean, that's the fun thing. There's all sorts of stuff I can do. See, first, I'm going to create things, living things, growing things, things that climb into the sky and tower in many different colors. And then I'll create other things, smaller things, things that run along the ground, things that fly into the sky, things that slither and crawl and creep. And there will be other things. What, what was that thing? Oh, dinosaurs. I don't really like them. Okay, then. And then, then there's one more thing out here. There's another thing you make. Yes. People, human beings, I will craft them from the dust and water and give them the breath of life. Okay, but what are people? Who do you think you've been narrating to? What? People are the ones who I will entrust with this earth. I will give them my creation and they shall inherit it. They shall finalize my plan. So you're just going to leave the humans alone? Well, I mean, look at them. They're everything you need. They are big, they are strong, they are tall, they are smart, they are kind. 
They work together to build grand and glorious things. So are you done now? Well, of course, this is a daunting task, I understand. So I will be partners with these humans. Anything else? We'll see what they do with it. All right then. There were the rocks, there was water, there were growing things, there were, well, not dinosaurs. There were a whole bunch of creepy crawlies, and then there were people. Still not sure what those were. And God saw that it was good, and he took a rest. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who wonderfully created and yet more wonderfully restored the dignity of human nature, grant that we may share the divine life of him who humbled himself to share our humanity. Your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And who let the ark go on the floor? Who let the ark from the floor? Let the ark, who let the ark go on the floor? Who let the ark go on the floor? Let the ark, who let the ark go on the floor? Let the ark, who let the ark go on the floor? Let the ark, who let the ark go on the floor? Let the ark, who let the ark go on the floor? Let the ark, who let the ark go on the floor? Let the ark, who let the ark go on the floor?
Almighty God, you have placed in the skies the sign of your covenants with all living things. Grant that we who are saved through water and the Spirit may worthily offer to you our sacrifice of thanksgiving through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Big stand. That's My brothers and sisters, through the Paschal mystery, we are buried with Christ by baptism into his death, and we are raised with him to do this of life. I will call upon you then, my dear brothers and sisters, therefore now that our Lenten observance is ended, to renew the solemn promise of the vows of holy baptism, by which we once renounced Satan and all his works, and promise to serve God faithfully in his holy. Catholic Church. Do you reaffirm your renunciation of evil and renew your commitment to Jesus Christ? Amen. Do you believe in God the Father? 
Strive for justice and peace among all people and respect the dignity of every human being. I will with God's help. May Almighty God, the Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and the suit of us, the suit upon us, the forgiveness of sins, keep us in eternal life by His grace in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. And now, my brothers and sisters, as a sign of the renewal of our baptisms, Strictly with this holy water to remember your baptism. And I'll start with the choir. Remember your baptisms, my brothers and sisters. Remember your baptisms, our service, our actions. Remember your baptisms, our actions. Remember your righteousness, your baptism. Remember your baptism, Christ Jesus. Remember your baptism, Christ Jesus. Remember your baptism. It is the one who serves our teaching. The one who is baptized in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Did you got some music coming our way?
holy night to shine with the glory of the Lord's resurrection. Stir up in your church that spirit of adoption which is given to us in baptism, that we be renewed both in body and mind. They worship you in sincerity and truth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Our first lesson is from St. Paul's letter to the church in Rome. It reminds us that our life in Christ gives us strength to overcome evil and death. Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? Therefore, we have been buried with him by baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, so we too might walk in newness of life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we will certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. We know that our old self was crucified with him so that the body of sin might be destroyed and we might no longer be enslaved to sin. For whoever has died is freed from sin. But if we have died with Christ, we believe that we also will live with him. We know that Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So you also must consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. Hear what the Spirit is saying. Thanks, Thanks God. God.
the holy gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, Lord Christ. Christ. On the first day of the week, at early dawn, the women came to the tomb, taking the spices that they had prepared. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they went in, they did not find the body. While they were perplexed about this, suddenly two men in dazzling clothes stood beside them. The women were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. Remember how he told you while he was still in Galilee that the son of man must be handed over to sinners and be crucified, and on the third day, rise again. Then they remembered these words, and returning from the tomb, they told all this to the eleven and to all the rest. Now it was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary, the mother of James, and the other women with them who told this to the apostles. But these words seemed, seemed, to, be, seemed to them an idle tale, and they did not believe them. But Peter got up and ran to the tomb. Stooping and looking in, he saw the linen clothes by themselves. Then he went home amazed at what had happened. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you. Praise you. those 
those who have died. Feel free to name them silently or aloud. Let us pray to the Lord. prayers for those in our Zoom um, audience and on Facebook for those prayers that are spoken and unspoken. Let us pray to the Lord. Good evening, everyone, and welcome again to our Easter Vigil. Today marks the third and final day of the Great Three Days, and we continue tomorrow with Easter Sunday services at 8 and 10 a.m. If your heart is going up to the refugees in Ukraine, we're working on a way to help. Mark your calendars for Friday, April 29th, from 5 to 8 p.m., when you'll be able to eat in or take out a fabulous, authentic, catered Eastern European meal. To volunteer, sign up on the clipboards in the atrium, and you can also place your order on the parish website. Just click the Ukraine dinner box on the homepage. Also, we're starting an after school tutor program in the parish hall later this month. Students from Vandenberg Elementary will be coming over on Wednesdays from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. to get help with their classwork. If you can volunteer to help, see Judy Walsh to sign up. And finally, Mother's Day is less than a month away and we want to honor your mother. Please send a photo of your mother to Father Chris with a one word adjective to describe your mom. He's making a Mother's Day video that we can all enjoy on the second Sunday in May. And you I will say, Steve, if I interrupt you, I've had a number of people send their pictures and the words that they give me are special and interesting. So feel free to describe your mother in as many uh, wonderful terms as you can that are as endearing as possible. And I'm sure my kids would mean it in the most endearing of all possible ways. It's interesting was the word they chose. Yes, I'm looking at you. <laughs> Meanwhile, you can always keep up on the latest on our parish website. And thanks again for being with us. You came, uh, in, 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 you came tonight to uh, give an offering. Uh, you may do so as you leave the church, and uh, if you're online, you may do so uh, on the church website. Let us, uh, let us walk in love with Christ, loved us, and gave himself for us, offering and sacrifice to God.
The Lord be with you, and also with you, lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord, let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Thanks and praise fill our hearts, Almighty God, for you are the Lord of creation and of new creation of covenant and of new covenant. You brought your people out of slavery to freedom in the promised land, and you brought your son from the depth of death to the glory of resurrection life. 
And so we gladly thank you with your people on earth and all the company of heaven singing the hymn of your unending praise. Shape your church to be a risen body. Make our scars beautiful like your scars. Make our lives life-giving like your life. And make our communion holy with your saints until you come again in glory. And we eat with you in your kingdom. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, ever one God. Amen. And now, as our Christ our Savior has taught us, we are bold to say, Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Oh, uh -huh. 
Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as the living members of your Son, our Jesus Christ. And you have sent us to us your spiritual food and the sacrament of our body and blood. Send us now to the world we teach and grant us strength and courage to love and serve with the rest Christ, Christ our Lord. Amen. And now, my brothers and sisters, go now. Go now, glad and rejoice, for this is the night that changes everything. And Christ is risen, that all may be made alive in him. Put your hope in the risen Christ. To testify that he is the one, Lord, one ordained by God to be Lord of all. In his name, preach peace to the and proclaim the forgiveness of sins without partiality. And may God be your strength and your might. May Christ Jesus meet you in your grief and become your salvation, and may the Holy Spirit raise you to new life in Christ. Amen. Amen.